This is California BSIS Guard Card Part K of the Powers of Arrest Manual. The topic we will be covering is searching the suspect. This presentation is provided by University Security and Training Solutions. My name is Ryan Long. Things to remember. You should avoid searching a suspect. Laws protect the rights of suspects who are being searched. This section explains what you should and should not do. You are not allowed to search someone in order to find evidence for making a citizen's arrest. When you see someone steal something you have been hired to protect, you, must, you may first detain the person by telling him or her that they are under arrest for theft. Then you may physically detain the person for the police to search. You should not give the suspect an opportunity to dispose of any items taken. If you have reasonable cause to believe you are in physical danger by detaining the suspect, you may search the individual for weapons. Remember, you may search for only one thing, weapons. And this is told to us by Penal Code Section 846. The method of frisk, searching for weapons. A frisk is nothing more than a quick check to see if a suspect has a concealed weapon. This should occur after the suspect is arrested. To frisk a suspect, follow these steps. A, stand behind the suspect. B, run your hands over the outside of their clothing. C, pat those areas where a weapon might be concealed. And D, remove anything that feels like a weapon. It's imperative as security officers we do not remove any article that does not feel like a weapon. Important, always use discretion when touching a suspect. Whenever possible, have a security guard, proprietary private security officer of the same sex conduct the frisk and always try to have witnesses to the frisk. Stay alert, don't relax after a frisk or take your eyes off the suspect after you've completed the frisk. They may still have a weapon you did not find. The frisk should be done quickly and if possible with another security guard, proprietary private security officer standing by. Practice the frisk on a partner by having him slash her conceal a small object. During a frisk, you may also discover a legal item called contraband. The most common type of contraband is narcotics. If you discover contraband while you are frisking for concealed weapons, Leave it alone and tell the police when they arrive. The picture shown here is an illustration of the frisk. Keep in mind these boxes are where people tend to hide things. It's best to look at a video. And I urge you to practice um, searching on either security officers or when you go home, ask your partner to allow you to do a frisk on them just to kind of see where somebody may hide something and what that process feels like. Uh, there's resources available that you can look at, uh, particularly trainings that are provided to law enforcement, either at the Police Academy or in private security hands-on courses. Knowledge check, question 44. According to the text, you should A not search the subject unless you have a reason to believe he or she has a weapon, B, search all suspects immediately, or C, search only the persons suspected of major crimes, and D, search only those persons with a police record. Question 44, the answer is A, not search a suspect unless you have reason to believe he or she has a weapon. Question 45, what must you do before you frisk a suspect? A. Handcuff the suspect. B. Arrest the suspect. C. Tie the suspect's hands over his head. D. Write your report. Question 45. The answer is B. Arrest the suspect. Question 46. A frisk by a security guard, proprietary private security officer, is a search for A. Weapons only. B. Stolen property only. C, weapons or stolen property. D, anything. Question 46, the answer is A, weapons only.